Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. My apologies for not uploading for a few days. Really wasn't in my control. Uh, but don't worry, we're back now in full speed. And today, um, to make my return, we're gonna be checking out as to why some people just really shouldn't be parents. Now, the lady we're checking out today isn't your average Joe that just sucks absolute ass at parenting. Nah, she's a, um, she's an influencer. Now, normally, I hate using that term. Gives me a bad taste in my mouth, but I don't know what to label her as man she is a tiktoker she's an only girl and she's also a twitch streamer so she's kind of a trifecta so we're using the term influencer and uh she's also a shitty parent and i can say that officially because she was arrested in florida for being a shitty parent now this surprisingly isn't her first time being mixed up in illegal stuff i'm pretty sure nintendo or some giant company like that was gonna sue her about a year ago because she used to go by the name pokemon princess and had it like heavily in her brand and when you're an only fans girl posting videos of your gina rumbling online and got something kids enjoy you know pokemon in the name yet not really the best look for the company now surprisingly after all this she couldn't really keep her nose clean because now she is uh been arrested in florida of course it's florida for child neglect yeah let's begin TikTok star, Twitch streamer, and adult entertainer Marissa Cloutier was reportedly arrested in Lee County, Florida and charged with child neglect, according to the police report. The incident occurred on Tuesday, August 24. Neighbors allegedly found Cloutier's son home alone in the yard and crying, so they called the police. When police arrived, Cloutier's front door was wide open and the TikTok star was nowhere to be found. Now, already right off the bat, we can just tell she is an incredibly irresponsible parent, dude. Like, number one, how how in the hell do you go about partying and you just leave your four-year-old child home alone? Like, if it wasn't obvious enough, the child is four years old. It is not responsible enough to watch itself at home and be safe. You need somebody there, an adult, to actually supervise the child, right? And number two, if you want to go out there and party, that is all good. Sometimes you need a break from parenting and you gotta live your life. But tell me, in what, in what situation do you leave the front door wide open, man? Like, at that point, that's not even just being an responsible parent that's just being a straight up nimrod dude like it takes you probably 0.2 seconds to close that door and by leaving that open you run the risk of your house not only probably being robbed but you also open up the possibility of some edp 445 weirdo going in there and taking your kid bro like jesus christ if you want to go party just get a babysitter man you have so many followers across social media you have the money to pay for a babysitter but you're just too lazy to make one simple call and plus, maybe she didn't leave the front door open, okay? Maybe the child did. But once again, that's why you actually have an adult there supervising him so the child can't open the door and just go wandering mindlessly, dude. Jesus, we're only one paragraph in and I'm already just flabbergasted, dude. What the hell? Florida police were able to make contact with her after finding her phone number in the home. Tautier stated to the police that she was only six minutes away from the residence. Upon arrival, police noted that Tautier is wearing a black mini dress and full makeup. Yeah, at that point, it's obvious she was just out partying. Claudia showed police a bottle of Tide laundry detergent. She claimed she had left the house to purchase. I mean, at that point, dude, your alibi is just gonna fail. Like, why would you throw on a mini skirt and 50 pounds of makeup to go get a bottle of detergent, dude? Like, that makes no sense to me. And I love how she noted, oh, I was only six minutes away. Like, that changes anything, dude. Like, six minutes away or, or six hours away, you're still not there. Like, six minutes away it's the equivalent of being one country away because your eyes are not on the four-year-old child and i know sometimes it can get exhausting having to look after a kid 24 7 but oh well man that's your bet you decided to bring a kid into this earth now it's your responsibility to take care of it or if you can't do it give it up to a better home that isn't so stupid like it's that simple man and i know someone's gonna say aren't you being a little bit too harsh keep listening to the story and you'll understand why i'm saying all this man cloutier told police that she put her son to bed at 10 15 p.m and left to go to 7 11 to purchase a laundry detergent she explained her job as a tiktok social media influencer and said that she recently moved to florida from colorado due to harassment and stalkers she also said that she has no support system in florida and that is why she had to leave her son home alone i mean maybe you don't have a support system in florida but isn't there like ads for people you can hire to watch your child when you're going to quote unquote buy this detergent
detergent, which we all know you're not doing. Like, nobody gets in their best outfit to go buy detergent, dude. Don't even kid yourself. And plus, the police can literally just check the cameras of that 7-Eleven and just tell, yeah, you were never here buying no detergent. You were at some sort of party, hence your outfit, dude. And plus, oh, I, I have no support system, man. You are the parent. You are the walking support system of this literal child, dude. Like, come on. And plus, let's say she's going to a party, right? Which I think that's what she did. Um, by, by that logic, don't you have friends in Florida because, like, they invited you to the party? Or am I just being dumb, man? I don't know. None of this shit's adding up to me at all. Police were suspicious of Cloud Tears' explanation due to her attire and because the laundry detergent was reportedly half empty. Ugh. <laughs> Half empty, dude. God damn it. Police sent a red cloud tear her Miranda rights and began to question her. Police asked Cloud Tear if she had a receipt to prove she recently purchased a detergent, but she said she had paid in cash and did not have a receipt. Like, does that even make a difference at all? Because I've gone to the gas station and stores numerous times and I've had like a $20 bill in my pocket, and when I pay with that and not a card, they still give me my receipt, dude. Like, Jesus Christ, you can at least try to construct a better lot. Maybe things are different there in Florida, but I highly doubt it, man. Please then ask Cloud Tear if she would show up on the security footage, at which point she began to hesitate and advise that she wanted to be truthful, of course. She then explained that she had put her son to bed earlier than previously claimed and traveled 11 miles, I don't think it's five minutes away, to go to a friend's house. She then said the laundry detergent was not recently purchased, but had actually been in the trunk for months, and that she did actually have a support system in Florida with her relatives living relatively close by. Cloud Tear then explained to the police that her anxiety made her lie and she felt as though she needed to provide a cover-up story to get out of trouble. Oh my god, dude. So you had a support system minutes away, yet for some reason you didn't even attempt to call them to say, hey, uh, do you want to come watch the four-year-old while I'm out there partying and whatnot? Like, I'm pretty sure your family or friends would be happy to watch your kids and let you get a break from parenting, dude. And plus, maybe I don't have anxiety, right? I wouldn't know, but maybe your anxiety did make you lie. But did your anxiety also make you just abandon your four-year-old kid at home alone while you went out there to party for God knows how long? And I know there's going to be that one guy in the comments saying, well, you're only saying this because she's a TikTok star and she's famous. No, it doesn't matter if she's famous or has two followers. A bad parent is a bad parent and a shitty liar is a shitty liar, man. It don't don't get stupid in the comments on me now. God, tears mother was called onto the scene to take care of her son while police repeatedly took the TikTok star into custody. A few days later, news of the arrest broke on social media, prompting a video response from Cloud Tear on her digital princess TikTok account. Now, this video was deleted off her TikTok, but because the internet is the internet, uh, some people have downloaded it and re-uploaded it, so we're gonna be checking that out. Hi guys, I just wanted to come on here and say that I do see your comments, I do see your concerns. I'm not at all trying to avoid or hide the situation. For those of you who know how legal stuff works legally i'm only allowed to say so much regarding it and i know there's a lot of things being posted online that are very out of context and very much untrue so please do not believe everything that you will read on the internet i can't really say much more i just want to say thank you so much for all of those who have supported me and everything like that and thank you guys yeah, well, for one, I'm not gonna sit here and generalize, but I'm pretty sure the only people supporting this type of behavior are the simps who are paying, like, $30 a month to see your gina rumbling on OnlyFans, dog, right? And then number two, what do you mean, oh, don't believe everything you, you, you see on the internet? Like, if it was some random-ass account saying this stuff, then I would be with you. I'd be like, all right, let's wait for more evidence. But, bro, there's literal police reports out there of you being arrested for child neglect. Like, I feel like I'm gonna believe the police record over the lady who can't even call relatives minutes away to come watch her child and the same lady who also can't even construct a lie using a bottle of laundry detergent as her alibi that's half empty and doesn't even have a receipt for man yeah I feel like I'm uh, I'm gonna go with the police record over you brother I'm sorry imagine being butthur over a child being left home alone act like your parents haven't done it to you too well you're right my parents did leave me home alone before uh when I became an actual teenager and proved myself to be 
be responsible enough to actually, you know, watch myself home alone, dude. And when I was like nine years old or something and my parents weren't home, you know what they'd do before they left? They'd call over somebody to supervise me. Wow, I know. Shocker. You know, actually having somebody take care of your kids while you're out to be responsible. Eh? Being responsible? Ever heard of that one before? Uh, same person says, you guys realize her neighbors have had it out for her since day one of her moving there also. I mean, maybe that is true, I don't know, but clearly, they were the only ones to actually give a shit about her kid who was sitting there crying alone in the front yard, man. Like, maybe they don't like her, but they sure as hell give more a damn about her crying child in the lawn more than she does, dude. Like, damn. I, it seems like the majority of people are with me on this whole situation that she just really isn't a responsible mother like in this response video of hers I just see no empathy at all like maybe she can admit to it because that'd be incriminating but you've already been caught in 4k dude admitting to it really wouldn't add any fuel to the fire and plus normally there'd be some emotion in your face I see no sign of empathy at all like that is genuinely scary to think she's a mother and she's probably done it before too but we just won't know about it now apparently she's also private her social medias I bet she's still posting to her OnlyFans though to get the sim dollars but i can't confirm that man if you think i'm paying for that shit you got another thing coming but yeah on that note boys that is all i got for you today hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video uh before i say anything i want to thank you guys so much for 200,000 subscribers i am aware the channel isn't doing too hot right now but trust me i'll keep uploading and uploading till this channel gets back up and starts booming views again and even after that i'll just keep uploading and uploading till zero people are watching i appreciate every single one of you guys that are still here with me it truly does mean a lot if if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, just uh, 10 little thingies popping up. Want to see more? Also, go down below and leave a like. That uh, really would mean the world to me. Tell me how you're doing in the comments below. Kind of curious to see that. Um, let's shoot for a million subs by the end of 2022. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.